So you brought out that old dusty PS2 from out of the closet. And you want to relive some of your nostalgic memories by playing some of your favorites or maybe even a new title. But what if I told you there's a way you can unlock your library to all regions of the world? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can play games like Initial D Special Stage or various other games from different regions all across the world. Let's get right into it. Well, here are some of the things that you're going to need to install this mod. Mainly, you're going to need either a later model of the fat PS2 or... A later model of the PS2 Slim and if you want to double check to make sure you can turn on your system and then hit triangle and then on the top here where it says console that's going to be your consoles model number so do take note of that so here is a list for compatible PlayStation consoles and this is also going to go for most mods that we're putting onto this system so be sure that you have any one of these specific models or series of models before attempting to install any of these mods. You're also going to need a DVD minus R or hyphen R, USB stick with 2.0 compatibility and a PlayStation 2 memory card. Specifically uh, the Magic Gate ones. You can find uh, third party ones online. They do work but they, are, they can be hit or miss when trying to install these mods. So be on the lookout for a OEM PlayStation 2 memory card. So the first thing we're going to install is free DVD boot. This is going to allow us to get into the storage of our PS2 memory card and launch ELF files, which will allow us to install mods onto our memory card. But you're going to come down here and you're going to see the download ISO section. You're going to click on the download link highlighted here. And you're going to store that somewhere safe on this system. Usually I put it on a desktop or I put it in another folder. Whatever you choose to do. And I'll be sure to provide all the links that I use in this video as well. So what this is, is a ISO file. So we're going to need to use the disk that I showed you in the beginning. We're going to throw it into your optical drive and we're going to burn this ISO file onto that disk and the program that I'm going to use to burn the disk is going to be called image burn and click the download button install the program and then when you open up the program it should look like this so what we're going to want to do is write image file to disk and then we're going to load in our disk into the optical drive and you want to make sure you can set your write speed down here in settings to the lowest possible write speed. So in my case, I'm gonna do four. And then you're going to select your ISO file by just dragging it, copying it over, and then we're gonna write it to the disk. Now this should take a few minutes, and then you're gonna get this prompt, and you're gonna hit okay, and then you're going to eject your disk. Now before we do anything with the disk, we're going to install free McBoot. 1.966 archive.7zip folder. I've also provided you guys with a link to download 7zip as well. And then once you're ready, you can download a free McBoot. And then what you're going to get are these files right here. And then to go along with your USB stick, you're going to install this program called uh, FAT32 format. You're just going to do that by clicking on this image here. And then once you've got FAT32 format installed, it should look like this. With this, you're going to Go into your file explorer and you're going to figure out what letter drive your USB stick is going to be under. And in my case, it's going to be under drive E. So here under drive, I'm going to hit E. And then we're going to start the format. And then it's going to let you know that it's done down here. So we're going to close out of this. Then you'll go into file explorer, go under USB drive. And then you're going to go into the free McBoot file and copy all of the contents in here. Paste them directly into your USB drive. And then while we're at it, we're also going to grab uh, Mechapone 3.0 RC4. This is the program that's going to allow you to region unlock your console so you can play games through any different region. So coming down here, you're going to grab the .elf file here. You're going to click on that and that's going to download. And then we're going to take our megaphone.l file and copy that to the USB drive as well. And then we're going to hit eject. Now that we've got everything loaded onto our USB stick, we can now take that and insert it into our PS2. As well as our controller, memory card, our AV cord, and 
power cord. And lastly, we can insert our CD with free DVD boot. And if done correctly, when we boot on our system, it should load us right into Ulaunch Elf. And here it is. This is Ulaunch Elf. This is going to be our file browser to be able to get into our USB stick. To start off, we're going to hit circle. And then we're going to come down to mass, hitting circle again. And then you're going to come down to fmcbinstaller.elf, hit circle. And this is the free McBoot installer. On the Mechapone GitHub page, it recommends you to do a multi-install. So this is what we're going to do here. So you're going to come down to multi-install, hit OK. Free McBoot will be installed onto the memory card in slot one. You're going to hit yes. And then it's going to install onto your memory card. It might take a few minutes or so. And then once it's done, this prompt should come up. You're going to hit OK. And then you're going to exit program. Now to initiate the free McBoot, you're going to go into your memory card here. And you're going to see that it's created a bunch of these other files. Don't worry about these. Just back out, back out again. And you should be inside of free McBoot. Now this opens up the gate to where you can either load games from a USB drive, possibly from a burnt disc, and you can install other various programs and apps through Ulaunch Elf here. But in our case, we're going to be installing Megaphone. So you're gonna go back into Ulaunch Elf going into file browser with circle coming back down to mass and then you're going to go under megapone pack 3.0rc4.elf and then you're going to hit circle and it's going to load up megapone from here you're obviously going to press x to continue now this makes a backup file for your system configuration and I'm going to show you after we're done here why that file is important. But for now, we're going to press X to continue. We're going to change region, retail decks, since our console is a retail version. And then on here, we're going to hit USA Multi 7. And then here, we're going to hit Keep Current Patch. And then it's going to tell you to unplug the power cord. And then you're going to reboot the system and the mod should be loaded on. Before turning your system back on, you can also take out the free DVD boot disc since free McBoot already provides you launch elf, which is now embedded into your memory card. And then booting up the system will reveal the free McBoot logo. And to test this, we're going to go into browser and then you can pick out any game of your liking from any kind of region. In this case, I'm going to test out initial D special stage and it's going to recognize it as a ps2 disc I'm gonna load this up just to make sure and there we go if done right then the install was a success now if you noticed before mechapone created an nvm backup and this file is very important in case you want to restore your backup make any other kind of changes within the program but make sure you save your backup file into a new folder onto your system as well as your USB stick. And I'm gonna show you, I'm also gonna show you what it looks like to restore said backup. And to restore your backup, you're gonna boot up your console again. Then you're gonna head over to Ulaunch Elf, hit circle for the file browser. You're gonna head on down to mass and you're gonna make sure that nvm.bin file is in there. We're gonna launch Megapone again, hit X to continue, X to continue again. And then you're gonna see down here when you go over restore nvram backup, you're going to hit X and it's going to restore that backup and then you're going to unplug your system again. And to show you that backup is restored, you should not be able to play any games besides US region games. And if done correctly, then it should not load through. There you have it. And to show you one more time to get it working again, you're going to go under U on shelf you're going to go in the file browser. Going down to mass, and you're going to go under megapond.elf. 
Press X to continue. X to continue again. Change region. Retail Dex. And USA Multi 7. Keep current patch. And then you're going to unplug. And plug in your system again and boot it back up. And to show you that this game's working again, go into our browser and load up our game. There's our PS2 disc. And if done right again, your game should load up. Just make sure your nvm.bin file is also backed up to your system. And there you have it. If you guys want to see any more PS2 modding videos, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.